everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make Korean corn dogs. These were delicious and I can't wait to show you guys how to make them. So let's get started with the video. Begin by peeling two potatoes. When you finish peeling your potatoes, place them in a cold bowl of water. Next, cut your potatoes into small pieces. When you finish cutting your potatoes, place them in a cold bowl of water. Then string your potatoes and place them in a pot of boiling water. Boil your potatoes for 2 minutes. Then string your potatoes. After that, rinse your potatoes with cold water. Next, you're going to dry your potatoes. Once your potatoes are dry, place them inside a bowl. Then add 2 tablespoons of flour. Toss your potatoes in the flour until your potatoes are completely coated. When you're finished, set your potatoes to the side. Next, dry a hot dog and cut it in half. Then, cut a piece of mozzarella cheese that's about the same size as your hot dog. Now you're going to place your hot dog and mozzarella cheese on a stick. You can make more corn dogs with hot dog and cheese, or you could just make one with all cheese, or you could just make one with just a hot dog. It's up to you, so have fun with it. When you're finished, coat your corn dogs in flour.
When you're finished, set them to the side. Next, in a large bowl, add 1 cup and 2 tablespoons of flour, 2 teaspoons of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and 2 tablespoons of sugar. Whisk everything together until well combined. Then create a well in the center of your dry ingredients. When you're done, add 3 fourths cup of milk and 1 egg. Then whisk the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients until well combined. Once your batter is smooth, pour it into a tall cup. Then, set your batter to the side. Next, in a large pan or baking dish, add about 1.5 cups of panko breadcrumbs and your potatoes from before. Next, in a pot over medium heat, add vegetable oil. While the oil is heating up, we're going to prepare our corn dogs. Dip your corn dog stick in the batter. Once your stick is fully coated, take it out of the batter. Use the excess batter to cover any spots that weren't coated. Then coat your corn dogs in the potatoes. And then in the panko breadcrumbs. Repeat this process with the rest of your corn dogs. With this corn dog, I only coated it in panko breadcrumbs. By this time, your oil should be hot enough to start frying. You can check this by placing one of the sticks you used for your corn dogs in the oil, and if it starts bubbling, your oil is ready. Place your corn dog in the oil for about 2-3 to three minutes or until golden brown. When your corn dog has finished frying, take it out of the oil and place it on a wire rack. Repeat this process until you have cooked all of your corn dogs.
Once you finish cooking your corn dogs and they have cooled, coat them in sugar. Next, in a small bowl, add 1 4th cup of ketchup and 1 4th cup of sriracha. Mix the sriracha and ketchup together to make sriracha ketchup. Now all you have to do is add mustard and your sriracha ketchup and you are all finished. And this is the finished result! These were a lot of fun to make and they tasted really good, especially the one with potatoes. It tasted like I was eating fries with my corn dog. Not to mention the sriracha ketchup, I loved that stuff. The sugar was great on the corn dog as well, it didn't make it too sweet, it just made it taste even better. I totally recommend giving this a try, oh and the recipe I used for this video will be down in the description below. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! There's another batter that you could use for Korean corn dogs, and I really wanted to try it. So this is me making it. In a small baking dish, add one cup of lukewarm water. Then add two tablespoons of sugar. Mix the sugar into the water until the sugar has completely dissolved. Once the sugar has dissolved, add one package of dry active yeast. Let it sit for a few minutes until the yeast melts. Once that happens, add a half a teaspoon of salt and one and three fourths cup of flour. Mix everything together with a wooden spoon until your mixture is smooth. Then cover it in plastic wrap and let it sit until it doubles in size. This should take about an hour. Then coat your corn dogs in the batter. And after you've done that, coat your corn dog in panko breadcrumbs or potatoes and panko breadcrumbs. Once you finish coating your corn dogs, all you have to do is fry them.
Both batters are good and the corn dogs tasted great. However, if you want something super easy and quick, I'd recommend the first batter. Okay, this is really the end of the video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!